Hello and welcome back. This is episode number 10 of the Big Rod project and uh, today I'm actually at the point where I have the first movement. Um, I printed another bridge here. I uh, mounted everything. This is just done with cable ties but it's good enough for now. Um, I also set up a controller board uh, connected it to the stepper, connected the stepper um, to the threaded rod and uh, hacked together a, well, not so beautiful version of my uh, own CNC controller and, well, if I actually do this and issue a move command We can actually see some movement, and um, this is way slower than the uh, stepper would be able to go. But um, there's quite a lot of uh, force around here. I can't really get it to miss steps. Yeah, now I made it, and. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the torque that I'm getting. Um, you can actually see that there's a small amount of vibration that appears to be coming from the vibration dampener. Um, I didn't expect that, uh, but I guess if I tighten these down um, correctly, uh, that shouldn't be an issue. If it is, I'll just have to get more expensive dampeners. Uh, maybe some with a uh, flexible core. Apart from that, I'm I'm already pretty amazed um, how smoothly this is running, and um, that I have that much torque, and that I'm not running into any real show-stopping issues right at the beginning. Um, where I'm going to go from here is. I will start thinking about building a table that I can put this on and uh, then I will have to um, make a uh, mirror copy of all the pieces that I've used for this side and see if I can actually get one complete axis running. In the same time um, it's actually probably the best time to start thinking about how the gantry is going to look, um, how much clearance I'm going to uh, leave for everything that I'm doing. Suppose I would be um, building this into a 3D printer. Um, I would have to think about the maximum build height. Um, this wouldn't be the fastest 3D printer, um, but it would be able to print very impressive big things. Um, I mean we've got a build area of uh, 1300 millimeters by about 80 millimeters so this could probably print a quadrocopter frame in one piece which would be pretty amazing um, but that's still far way off. When I'm done um, thinking about the layout of the gantry um, it will probably be time for the next part of the uh, project videos. I don't know how long this is going to take, but right now I'm really, really happy with how this is working out. And uh, it couldn't be going. It couldn't be going any better. So for today, thanks for watching, and. Bye bye. Oh, for an end, let's let it move the camera. Here we go. It would make a pretty decent camera position. Oops! Hoppala. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.